The Boys isn't exactly a show known for its realism, but the spin-off Gen V actually showcases a surprisingly thoughtful and nuanced take on a gender-swapping superhero's identity. Here's what it means for the show and for pop culture. The soup students at Godolkin University and Prime Video's The Boys spin-off Gen V generally have some pretty standard powers, though there are a few truly unconventional ones that stand out. Chief among them is Jordan Lee, who can shift between a male and female form. Jordan has different superpowers depending on which form they're in, which leads to lots of quick switching back and forth between forms in order to have the most useful powers for any given situation. It's absolutely wild to see, but it's also a pretty interesting allegory for gender non-conforming people in our own world. A soup's powers and identity are already inextricably entwined, but it seems like it's even more intense in Jordan's case. When we first meet them, they're the second-ranked student at Godolkin and work as esteemed crime-fighting professor Brinkerhoff's secretary. Despite their loyalty, incredible work ethic, and physical fighting capabilities, they're often dismissed because their powers and gender identity are considered too confusing by Vought, who owns Godolkin. Confusing is a word that genderqueer and bi-gender people have heard about themselves forever. So let's clear up a few things about Jordan, their powers, and how those powers give Gen V a way to explore gender in a new way. Jordan's soup abilities give them different powers based on whether they're in male or female form. As a male, they are indestructible and deflect bullets, while as a female, they have agility powers and can shoot energy from their hands. They can switch back and forth at a moment's notice, giving them the kind of gender fluidity many can only dream about. In the first two episodes, they appear in both forms interchangeably, and their gender is never brought up outside of one character quickly correcting herself when she initially uses the wrong pronouns. However, the third episode gives audiences more of a look into Jordan's identity. During a gala attended by many of the students and their parents, Jordan's father repeatedly misgenders them, using he, him pronouns and referring to him as my son. Don't let him fool you. He was a holy terror as a boy. <laughs> he also comments that Jordan's powers weren't the gift he anticipated giving his child and that Jordan could simply choose to always present as a man. Jordan changes to their female form and tells their father that their powers weren't where their gender nonconformity began and that they've always been the same person. It's a speech that should absolutely resonate with any non-binary person who has had to explain what that means. People around Jordan try to fit them into a box of boy or girl, but they're more fluid than that. Like having superpowers, gender can be complicated. For people who don't identify as men or women, seeing those complexities on TV is rare. Sure, there are more non-binary and genderqueer characters on TV than ever before. The problem is, there are too many shows that resort to bad tropes, making tired pronoun jokes and providing a very narrow depiction of what non-binary people actually look and act like. Well-intentioned films and shows can also go to the opposite extreme by portraying non-binary people in an overly idealized light rather than allowing them to be as multifaceted and flawed as everyone else. That's not the case with Jordan on Gen V. Who gets to be their own character? A competitive, catty person who is embittered by years of being treated poorly just because of who they are. They know that they're not being given opportunities from Vought because their ethnicity and gender identity won't connect with the conglomerate's conservative audiences. And it's made them jaded. And while their identity is a part of the story, it's not their only identifying trait either. Jordan gets to be a whole person, for both good and bad. New episodes of Gen V premiere Fridays on Prime Video.